Hey guys, it's Laura. So we are in Vermont for fall. We have lots of stuff that we're gonna do today, or at least we're gonna try and hit as much as we possibly can. The weather looks beautiful. The fall leaves as we were driving in look beautiful. I think we're gonna have a good time. So obviously had to film it, had to take you along with me. So this is the cute little Airbnb that we stayed in last night with of course all my stuff on the bed. So we're gonna make our way up to the Stowe area and then over to Burlington and make some stops along the way. And I should probably get in the car before Alex loses his mind. <laughs> So our first stop today is gonna be a name that I butcher, maybe. Kichi. Kichi. Maybe you butchered it. Maybe I butchered it. Kichi Gorge. What'd you get? The Kichi, is that how you say it, Kichi? Kui. Kui Kichi. The Kichi Gorge. Should I get one more? Oh, we, we, we can get going. Okay. Do you think it's funny that I like those little coin smasher machines? I think it's adorable. <laughs> These trails. Tracks. Tracks. It's a deer track. There's a deer afoot. Look, there's a deer foot. So one of the things that we noticed... Yeah, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, so one of the things that we noticed, this is my contribution to the blog. <laughs> this is my comment. We just came from Ireland where there's less safety requirements. Like we, went, we walked on the cliffs of Moher and there's a 500 or you know a thousand foot cliff right next to you with no fence and then we come here and It's really obvious like this fence doesn't belong here. It takes away from the scenery But it's just here for you know American liability protection. <laughs> He's just tripped oh. <laughs> and, um, Yeah, it's just one thing that we immediately noticed it's like this this fence shouldn't be here Okay, we you immediately noticed and then I almost stole your thunder. That's your contribution. That's me. That's my blog. All right. Bye guys. <laughs> it is so peaceful over here. It is gorgeous. There's a little bit of fog, but I mean, <laughs> it's it's fine. It's, it's more than fine. Would you to touch the fungus? Look how cool they are. You gotta zoom in on them and show all the little textures and details. Look at this little orange one. Ew! Yeah. No! 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 <laughs> It's really nice being in a place where there are fall leaves and they're falling and they're not just brown. They're actual colors like orange and yellow and red. I was just laughing at that little kid who was running by saying, Oh, rocks! Cool! It's like you! And I was just thinking like, wow, I wish I was that fascinated by rocks. And I realized that I picked this up on the ground and it's like, oh, cool, a rock! Okay, does anybody remember the fancy little S that you would draw in elementary school because it's right there and it looks fabulous. Everybody remembers this. The crazy S. That's, I don't know if you can tell, that's, that's thick, that's deep. They spent some serious time doing that. We just had to show you. Alrighty, next up is Sugarbush Farm. We're gonna check out some cheese samples and some maple syrup and I don't know what else. We'll go see. It's a little muddy. So this pipeline goes all the way down to the place where they collect all the syrup. It's maybe the worst explanation of anything I've ever given. Yeah, look, it goes right into the tree. And then you just follow it down. Yeah. The more you know. So we did things a little bit backwards and we did the cheese and maple tasting before going on the maple walk or the nature walk, whatever this is. The maple tapping walk. Yeah. I mean, I still have a major appreciation for all the work that is put into tapping all of the, the maple trees. And in the winter, when it's cold, uh, we can go back, get some maple syrup, and get some stocking stuffers because that's a big deal in my family. But and first, I... baby goats. Oh, baby goats. Let's go see the baby goats. Hey, little goat. Hello. 
Definitely not baby goats. So handsome. Look at the chickens walking around. Have a happy holiday. You will sing a fun song with the fall festival at play. Hopefully there's no audio in this clip when you post it. Because it's me singing a bad song and that's about it. Let's just acknowledge that he's singing Christmas songs. This is all about Halloween. But look at my Halloween pants. Are these not the best Halloween pants you've ever seen? Also, that's cheese that we're snacking on. It's extra sharp cheddar and it's delicious. <laughs> okay, we are on route 100. We need a little walking break. So we've been driving for maybe an hour or so. We found this nice little stopping place and it looks gorgeous. So the big thing that Alex wanted to do was go to Moss Glen Waterfall. And we went on accident. We just pulled over and turns out it was this place. <laughs> We have arrived in Stowe, and this is the most traffic and the most people I've seen in a while. And I think we're both ready to get out of the car. We made it to the Sunset Rock Trail, so we can see some pretty views. At least that's the plan. We're the only people on this trail that I've seen, which is great. There are, there are a lot of people down in Stowe. And I'm surprised that no one seems to be here. But check out this nice overlook. I could have taken my dump from right here. Yeah, you could have had a poop with a view. Let's carry on. Okay, we somehow made it off the trail. It's a great sign. Oh, that's a lot of spider web. Spooky Halloween. Spooky Halloween. Let's go get back on the trail. Okay. I don't know where we are. We made it back on the trail. Not a problem. And I like their trail markers. I think they're cute. So we were just walking along and we found this pair of boots, a shirt, and a jacket. And nobody to be seen. <gasps> the scenic overlook. I think that's it. I don't really know what we're overlooking besides another mountain. It doesn't feel very scenic, but let's call this the scenic overlook. Okay, I'm wondering if we're missing something. I'm, I'm not really sure where we're supposed to end up so I think we're just gonna head back before we get really lost. Womp womp. So we were walking down the side of the road and Laura just stops in her tracks and goes <gasps> and grabs my arm and just squeezes it. and I look over and I see a, a black bear like a medium sized black bear probably not a baby and not full grown but an adolescent black bear just walking. I out. have never seen a bear of any kind in the wild and I figured it was either grab his arm really tight or run. And I figured running wasn't my best bet. So, <sighs> so I, I tried to get the camera out in time to get video of it, but then he just ran off into the woods. So that was the end of that. If you can't tell, one of us is very excited about this experience. The other, not so excited. Cause I still have the adrenaline pumping in my legs. I was I, trying to call it over and like take pictures of it. Be like, good boy, where's your good boy? Yeah, he was like, oh, good boy, like talking to our dogs. But <laughs> no, it's a bear. <laughs> Very different. So apparently there are two Moss Glen Falls in Vermont. So Alex is getting a real bang for his buck. All right, this is a short trail with people. Definitely cooled down, that's for sure. As we were driving to Moss Glen Falls, part two, or version two, I got the email that I passed my NCI level one exam. So that's my nutrition coaching exam that I worked over three months on. So like that and encountering a black bear. Like I have all sorts of weird energy and adrenaline right now. And I just, like I can't handle it. I feel like I'm on overload. What is this little critter? I don't know. But it's got some nasty poop next to it. Ew. So Alex went to go explore a little bit on his own. He wanted to go, I think, up to the top. As long as he's careful and as long as there are no bears, that's fine. I'm just gonna stay here. And then we're gonna make our way to Burlington. So more time in the car. This has been one of those trips where we're driving a lot 
I feel kind of bad, but I mean, it's just been so nice looking at all the scenery and you know, and it's been a gorgeous day. So if I'm gonna be on a road trip, this is where I would want to be on one. Well, I think my hair is um, a good measure of just how we're feeling. I'm feeling kind of tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been full of all sorts of stuff, but yeah, we made it to Burlington and we're gonna just chill the rest of the night. I hope you enjoyed this video and our little adventure. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!